we are going to distribute the tax amount to the different departments based on the turnover of each branch or branch turnover divided by total turnover into GST amount or GST amount into branch turnover divided by total turnover both are same you will get the same answer if you total all the five branches turnover you will get the total turnover so total turnover is 25 lakh and the GST amount is 6 lakh so this is enough to solve the problem Hello everyone, I am Arun Kumar, lecturer in the Department of Commerce and Management, Vidyashram First Trade College, the Temple of Excellence, Mysore. Dear students, welcome to this new session, session number 3 on unit number 3 that is input tax credit. So in the previous session, dear students, we solved a few problems with respect to input tax credit. So how to compute input tax credit and how to set off the input tax credit, how to adjust the input tax credit with output tax credit and how to find out the net GST payable about these concepts we discussed in the previous session and we also solved three problems with respect to that. So in this particular session dear students we are going to solve a few more problems with respect to computation of input tax credit but in this session we will be solving the problems with respect to input service distributor. In the earlier session we solved the problems with respect to goods but in this session we will be solving the problems with respect to services. So problem number four Shaker Limited as its head office at Bangalore and as four branches at Kerala, Tamil Nadu, Maharashtra and Andhra Pradesh. So here Shaker Limited as its head office in Bangalore, they are situated in Bangalore and they also have four branches in different places and it seeks the services of Shine Enterprises at Mysuru for advertising its products. So they requested the Shine enterprises to advertise their products. So for that the enterprises rises the bill of which including GST amount of rupees 8 lakh on the head office. That means they raise the bill that raise the bill for advertisement and they also raise the bill of 8 lakh rupees of GST which is included in the bill. The turnover of the head office and branches during the year ending or the quarter ending 31st 12 2021 whereas follows. So here we are going to distribute the tax amount to the different departments based on the turnover of each branch. So here as a service provider as a service provider I am going to advertise something okay I am going to advertise about my brand or about my company. So I given that advertisement work to some other company where they charged me some amount to advertise my product. So in that amount 8 lakh rupees of GST is also included. So he is not promoting only one branch he is promoting a brand. So the brand is sold in different branches no. So that is why whatever the GST amount here you are paying for advertiser that amount you can take it as input tax credit you can take the advantage of ITC and you will get back this amount of rupees 8 lakh rupees of GST what you paid to the advertiser because advertisement is also kind of input for your providing of services. So you will be distributing this 8 lakh rupees based on the turnover of the each branch okay. So Bangalore head office 12 lakh rupees is the turnover, Kerala 15 lakh rupees is the turnover, Tamil Nadu 8 lakh rupees is the turnover. Maharashtra 16 lakh is the turnover and the Pradesh 6 lakh is the turnover. So compute the distribution of input tax by the Bangalore head office. So by using this information you are supposed to find out the distribution of input tax credit by the Bangalore head office to other branches. So here you have 8 lakh rupees of GST amount with you. Okay, as a head office you have 8 lakh rupees of GST amount with you and this 8 lakh rupees is belongs to all these 5 branches. So how we are going to distribute that 8 lakh rupees based on the turnover of the each branch you are going to distribute that 8 lakh rupees based on what is their turnover in a particular quarter. So what is the formula to you know distribute that amount? See GST amount, GST amount into 
into branch turnover divided by total turnover. Very simple. Okay. So, GST amount. What is this GST amount here? It is 8 lakh rupees. So, GST amount into branch turnover. For example, Bangalore branch. What is the turnover? They have 12 lakh rupees. So, 8 lakh into 12 lakh divided by total turnover. So, here total turnover is nothing but the total of all the branches is called total turnover. So, if you total all this 5 branches amounts, the turnover will get the total turnover. So, 8 lakh rupees into 12 lakh rupees of Bangalore branch divided by total turnover, you will get the ratio for Bangalore head office of this 8 lakh rupees. So, that is how you are going to solve the problem. So, now let us solve the problem. Solution, distribution of credit by input service distributor, that is IST in short what we call IST input service distributor. So, formula is very easy. Branch turnover divided by total turnover into GST amount or GST amount into branch turnover divided by total turnover. So, Bangalore, first we take the Bangalore. So, Bangalore head office, what is the turnover they have? They have 12 lakh rupees. So, 12 lakh rupees divided by divided by total turnover. So, what is the total turnover? Here, if you total all 5 branch turnover, you will get 57 lakh. That 57 lakh will be your total turnover. So, Bangalore turnover is, Bangalore branch turnover is 12 lakh divided by total turnover of rupees 57,000 into GST amount. So, what is the GST amount we have? We have 8 lakh rupees. So, into GST amount 8 lakh, you will get 1,68,422. So, in 8 lakh rupees, 1,68,422 is supposed to be distributed to Bangalore branch. Next, Kerala branch. So, what is the turnover of Kerala branch? It is 15 lakh. So, 15 lakh divided by total turnover of 57 lakh into 8 lakh rupees. So, they will get 2,10,526. Who? The Kerala branch will get 2,10,526. Next, Tamil Nadu branch. So, Tamil Nadu branch turnover is 8 lakh rupees. So, 8 lakh divided by total turnover of 57 lakh into GST amount of 8 lakh rupees. So, Tamil Nadu branch will be getting 1,12,280 rupees. Next, moving further, Maharashtra branch. So, Maharashtra branch turnover is 16 lakhs. How much? 16 lakhs. So, 16 lakhs divided by total turnover of 57 lakh into GST amount of 8 lakh rupees. So, you will get 2,24,562. That means Maharashtra branch will be getting 2,24,562 out of 8 lakh rupees of the GST amount. Next, Andhra Pradesh. Andhra Pradesh turnover is 6 lakh divided by total turnover of 57 lakh into GST amount of 8 lakh rupees. So, the Andhra Pradesh branch will be getting 84,200. 10 rupees. How much they will be getting? 84,210 rupees they will be getting. So, this is how you are supposed to distribute the total GST amount amongst the different branches as a input service distributor. So, moving further to the next problem, problem number 5. ABC Limited as its head office at Mysuru and has 4 branches at Kerala, Tamil Nadu, Rajasthan and Gujarat. It seeks the services of Shine Enterprises at Bangalore for advertising its products. The enterprise raises the bill which include GST amount to rupees 15 lakh on the head office. So here, ABC company, they want to advertise their brand. So they approached Shine company. So Shine company, they are raising a bill which includes 15 lakh rupees of GST and this 15 lakhs as a service oriented entity, you can claim it as input tax credit and you will get back that 15 lakh rupees. So, you are supposed to distribute that 15 lakh among all the 5 branches based on their turnover. So, Mysore branch or the Mysore head office turnover 15 lakh, Kerala 10 lakh, Tamil Nadu 12 lakh, Rajasthan 18 lakh, Gujarat 6 lakh. So, this is the different turnover what they have in different branches. By using this, you are supposed to compute the distribution of input tax amongst the different branches by Mysore head office. 
So very simple. What is the formula? Yes, it is branch turnover divided by total turnover into GST amount. Okay, branch turnover into or branch turnover divided by total turnover into GST amount or GST amount into branch turnover divided by total turnover both are same you will get the same answer okay so moving further to know the solution so the formula very simple branch turnover divided by total turnover into GST amount so now if you look into Mysore branch so what is the turnover of Mysore branch here yes it is 15 lakhs okay Mysore branch turnover is 15 lakh divided by total turnover see if you total all these five branches you will get 61 lakh that 61 lakh will be your total turnover so 15 lakh divided by 61 lakh into GST amount what is the GST amount we have here it is 15 lakhs right so write down 15 lakhs so 15 lakhs divided by 61 lakh into 15 lakh yes 3 lakh 68,583 that amount belongs to Mysore branch next Kerala so Kerala branch turnover is 10 lakh divided by total turnover of 61 lakh into GST amount of 15 lakh so how much you will get you will get 2 lakh 45,902 this amount is relating to Kerala branch out of 15 lakh of GST amount next Tamil Nadu so what is the turnover of Tamil Nadu yes it is 12 lakh so 12 lakh divided by total turnover is 61 lakh so 12 lakh divided by 61 lakh into GST amount of 15 lakh so Tamil Nadu branch will be getting or receiving 2 lakh 95,082 rupees out of 15 lakh rupees of GST amount next yes Rajasthan so what is the turnover of Rajasthan Rajasthan turnover is 18 lakh so 18 lakh branch turnover divided by total turnover of 61 lakh into GST amount of 15 lakh so the Rajasthan branch will be getting 4 lakh 42,623 out of 15 lakh of GST amount and last branch that is Gujarat Gujarat branch turnover is how much yes it is 6 lakhs so 6 lakhs divided by 61 lakh into 15 lakh rupees of GST amount so Gujarat will be getting 1 lakh 47,540 out of 15 lakh rupees of GST amount so this is how the Mysore branch is going to distribute the GST amount among its different branches based on the turnover of the each branch next moving further to the next problem problem number six so moon private limited is a registered input service distributor having head office in bangalore and has four branches in kerala surat maharashtra and delhi it seeks an advertising agency at bangalore for advertise its products and ad agency raises the bill which include gst amounting to rupees 6 lakh on the head office here also same the moon company they want to advertise their products they just asked the advertising company and they raised a bill which includes 6 lakh rupees of GST and this GST they can take the input tax credit benefit so that 6 lakh rupees is supposed to be distributed among the different branches based on the turnover so Bangalore head office 5 lakh rupees is the turnover Kerala 6 lakh Surat 3 lakh Maharashtra 8 lakh Delhi 3 lakh so total this so 5 plus 6 11 11 plus 3 14 14 plus 8 22 22 plus 3 25 that means 25 lakh so 25 lakh is the total turnover of all the branches if you total all the five branches turnover you will get the total turnover so total turnover is 25 lakh and the gst amount is 6 lakh so this is enough to solve the problem so let us solve the problem distribution of credit by input service distributor so the formula again it's same branch turnover divided by total turnover into gst amount so bangalore head office so their turnover bangalore head office turnover is how much yes it is 5 lakh here you can see 5 lakh divided by total turnover of 
25 lakh into GST amount of 6 lakh rupees. So how much the Bangalore branch will be receiving? Bangalore branch will be receiving rupees 1 lakh 20,000. Next, Kerala branch. So what is the turnover of Kerala branch? Yes, the turnover of Kerala branch is 6 lakh divided by total turnover of all the branches that is 25 lakh into 6 lakh rupees of GST amount. So Kerala branch will be receiving 1 lakh 44 thousand rupees out of 6 lakh rupees of GST amount. Next to Surat branch. So Surat branch turnover is 3 lakh divided by 25 lakh of total turnover into 6 lakh rupees of GST amount. So Surat branch will be receiving 72,000 rupees of amount out of 6 lakh rupees of GST. Next Maharashtra branch. So Maharashtra branch turnover is how much? Yes, it is rupees 8 lakhs. So Maharashtra branch turnover is 8 lakh. So branch turnover 8 lakh divided by total turnover of 25 lakh into the GST amount of 6 lakh. So how much they will be receiving? Maharashtra people. So Maharashtra branch will be receiving 1 lakh 92,000 rupees. Okay, they will be receiving 1 lakh 92,000 rupees. Next, Delhi. So Delhi, what is the turnover of Delhi? The branch turnover, yes it is 3 lakh. So 3 lakh branch turnover divided by total turnover of 25 lakh into 6 lakh rupees of GST amount. So Delhi branch will be receiving 72,000 rupees of amount out of 6 lakh rupees of GST amount. See if you want to confirm whether you solved the problem properly or not, just total this all the amounts, okay. Total this all the amounts, you should get 6 lakh only. You should get 6 lakh only. If you are getting 6 lakh only, then whatever the problem is solved, it's correct. Okay. So this is how you are supposed to distribute the amount that is the GST amount which you paid for advertising or for any kind of services as input. You are going to receive that back from the GST authority and again you are supposed to distribute it back to your you know different branches. So how we are going to distribute it to the branches based on the turnover of the each branch. So what is the formula? The formula is very easy. It is branch turnover divided by total turnover into GST amount or GST amount into branch turnover divided by total turnover. So with this simple formula, you can easily distribute the GST amount amongst your different branches. So with this, I'm going to wind up this session. I'll come up with few more new videos with new concepts. Until then, thank you all. Have a nice day. Namaste.